Okay, this tutorial is meant to help uh, you know what options you have for supporting your family in C Civic Mirror, even if you don't own a business. Maybe you were absent the day we did an auction, or maybe you just didn't win the bid no matter how hard you tried. There are still opportunities for you to make money for your family. Uh, maybe in the first year or two you won't feel like you need it, but as the years progress, You'll find that um, your cash is, is running thin. These are some of the things you can do. You can offer your services in Civic Mirror. Uh, you could offer your service as a salesman. For example, insurance tends to be one that doesn't sell as fast at, at first, although not as much um, as uh, arts and entertainment and technology. Both of those the the person who owns that hex will rarely sell all of those units so you can go to the person who owns that hex perhaps after the first year when they realize they're probably not going to sell everything and you can look at the um, sales reports to see what whether there were units left over of something and know that okay this is a a seller who's really not making as much profit as they could and go and make a some sort of contract with them maybe if they hand over four units to you and you sell those units you'll give that person half the profits and you get to keep half the profits or you could come up with a more creative um, contract uh, at any rate it's an opportunity for you to make money and it also helps the country as long as everybody's getting uh, more well-being points your country is ultimately going to be ranked higher than other countries so this is not only a, a business opportunity it's also a service opportunity so selling insurance uh, even if you don't own the insurance hacks arts and entertainment technology those are good opportunities for making a little bit of money Another opportunity is to get elected, uh, run a campaign, run a successful campaign, and then once you are in office, work towards getting a law passed that gives a certain amount of compensation to um, the people who are elected, president, I mean, president, speaker of the house, um, judge, these, these are positions that actually require quite a bit of work. Uh, pass a bill that gives some compensation. Now, of course, you have to be responsible with the government's money, make sure you're not overpaying so that the government doesn't go um, broke. But nevertheless, it, it, those are hard jobs, and uh, it would be nice to get the, those people compensated, and they will probably pass the bill if you... Um, uh, if you propose it. Uh, another thing that's available is to be a lawyer. Uh, there are some students, I have seen students who have a legitimate complaint that they could win in court. I mean, they have witnesses, they have evidence, it's very clear that they've been wronged, but they're too um, bashful to take the case to court themselves. You could put up an advertisement in the room on the uh, bulletin board uh, advertising your services as a lawyer. Are you somebody who's confident? Are you somebody who's um, able to work well with people? You could probably help them win their case, in which case you could make some money as a lawyer. Um, another thing you can do, which is kind of outside the box, is you could bake some cookies and sell them on market day or bring in some other kind of a treat. Uh, and then if you look, we'll go into Civic Mirror for a second. If you go in and you look, here's your um, most likely uh, uh, customers. You click on your country name, then click on citizens, and then go down here next to cash, and click it, the, this little arrow button until you find out who your <laughs> richest citizens are. The people here up here at the top, they've got money to spare. A lot of times they're, they're not going to have a problem paying you 100 bucks for a really good homemade brownie or a really good homemade cookie. Now, if you just brought in some Jolly Ranchers, they might pay you 50 bucks or something. But these are your customers up here who have money to spare. C cook some cookies and bring them in. They, they will probably buy. I've, I've never seen someone bring in treats like that and not sell, uh, sell them. Uh, let's see here. Other ways to make money. Uh, in my class, maybe not uh, all the classes, but in my class, in order to get full credit in your binder check, you have to have all the notes from all the note-taking days. Um, I don't mind if students who are absent actually put photocopied notes in their binder. Uh, but if you're one of those people who has really nice handwriting and is consistently present, 
why don't you advertise your uh, services on the classroom wall? Again, neat handwriting, always present. If you need, if you need uh, notes for your binder check, come see me. Um, if you get a customer, bring them to me, and um, I'll help you photocopy the notes, and I'll help you make sure they pay you. <laughs> um, another thing you can do is sell one-on-one -on -one tutoring time during intervention or lunch, especially when we get into supply and demand and, and, and graphing supply and demand. There's going to be some students who really are lost. If you're somebody who gets things quickly, who understands things quickly, this is something that uh, you could provide as a service during intervention or lunch. Um, <clears throat> Another thing that you could do is, you know that person who sits next to you who is constantly, quote, borrowing paper from you? If they do it too much, make them pay you for paper. And if, if they say, oh, I'm not going to pay for it, I'm going to get it from somebody else, tell the person next to you, make them pay for it. This guy's always borrowing, quote, borrowing paper. What are they going to do, give it back to you? Um, erasers, pencils, whatever it is, if there's somebody who's always taking these things and never giving them back, make them pay for it. And you can earn civic mirror money that way. Another thing you can do, if you own, let's say, a, a mansion or that's in a, a good neighborhood, well, actually any ma mansion will give you a certain number of well-being points. Um, and if you have a house that's in a good neighborhood, it has a neighborhood score of maybe five or four, um, again, go to that customer base that's in the top tier, the people who are close to winning, uh, who might possibly win, and say, hey, you know, if you want to get ahead or put yourself even further ahead of your competitors, why don't you rent out my house and I'll just go and get a place in an apartment? You could, if you put the rent at the right level, you could make a profit off of here. Um, you could advertise. Uh, put, put something, again, put it on the wall, although I, I think going to people in person, the ones that you know might be more likely to accept. That's probably your prime audience. Um, and then make sure that you rent an apartment for your family that's cheaper <laughs> than the amount that you're charging to your tenants. So that's an opportunity as well. Um, it, I should mention, if none of those things are working in the short term, or it's, it's an emergency, you haven't figured out a way to do it, and you're it, it's the end of the mar market day is over, or it's getting close to the end of the market day, remember it in town hall and bring it up in town hall. When they're asking who has a, a problem that needs to be solved, who has an issue that they wish to be discussed in town hall, bring up the fact that you're about to lose a family member because they haven't been fed or lose a family member because you can't pay the rent. You're just broke and you haven't figured out how to make money yet. Bring it up at the town hall. Um, it's just a short-term solution. It's not a long-term solution, but it, it there are plenty. There are usually citizens who want your country to beat the other Oakmont countries, and they might step in and help you provide food or shelter to prevent deaths in your family, because they don't really want to have deaths in the in the country. So that's an opportunity as well if you're having a, a short-term emergency. Um, that being said, best wishes to you, your family, and your country. <laughs>